So, here now we are going to study about the dimensional analysis. Now, see here in dimensional analysis in mechanics basically we use the three quantities that is the length, we take the symbol for this is L, mass here we use m that is capital M and for time we use your t. Suppose you are writing a speed, a speed is equal to distance upon time, which can be written length upon time. Now, see here length and time are the two fundamental quantities we can write L upon t, because the for the length I have taken symbol L, for the time we have taken symbol t. So, we can write here is speed is equal to L and t raised to power minus 1. So, see here speed can be written in terms of the basic quantities by raising their powers. Here L has power 1, the power of L is raised to 1 and the power of T is raised to minus 1. So, the speed can be represented in terms of the basic quantities by raising their powers and these powers are known as dimensions, right. So, after that this is the dimension and here we can also write speed is equal to m 0 L 1 and T raised to power minus 1 because I have told you this thing is here, we take include also mass m in mechanics. So, see here the mass has no value here, no use of mass. So, we have put here m raised to power 0 that becomes equal to 1, the m raised to power 0, l raised to power 1, t raised to power minus 1. This is known as dimensional formula, but if you equate it with the dimension here like a v if I am writing and here I am writing m raised to power 0, L raised to power 1, T raised to power minus 1. This is known as dimensional equation. So, here we have seen what are the dimensions, what are the dimensional formula and what are the dimensional equation. So, now we will be finding the dimensional formula of different quantities. If you are taking area, area you can write length into breadth. So, we can write L into L is equal to L square. So, dimensional formula can be written m c raised to power 0 L 2 t raised to power 0. Similarly, we can write volume, volume we can write m raised to power 0 L cube t raised to power 0. This is the dimensional formula of volume. Now, you can write also density density is equal to mass upon volume, mass is here m, volume is here m 0, m raised to power 0, L cube and T raised to power 0, that you can write here m L raised to power minus 3 and T raised to power 0. This is the dimensional formula of density. So, we can get the dimensional formula of all the quantities by using this concept. We have done a speed, so we can write here also acceleration. Acceleration can be written change in speed or the velocity divided by time. Speed we know it is here m raised to power 0 l t raised to power minus 1 divided by t. So, dimensional formula of acceleration you can write here m 0 L t raised to power minus 2. Then dimensional formula of force you can write that is mass into acceleration. So, this is m into this one in place of acceleration I am putting here m raised to power 0 L t raised to power minus 2. This can be written m L t raised to power minus 2. So, this is the dimensional formula of force. Similarly, we can write dimensional formula of work that is force into distance. We can write here m L t raised to power minus 2 into here L that can be written m L square t raised to power minus 2. So, this is the dimensional formula of work. So, now see dimensional formula of pressure. 
pressure is equal to force upon area. We have calculated dimensional formula of force that was here m l t raised to power minus 2, area is l square. Now, we can take it up, you will be getting m l raised to power minus 1 t raised to power minus 2. Similarly, we can calculate gravitational sorry dimensional uh, formula of gravitational constant. We know this F is equal to capital G m 1 m 2 divided by r square, where F is the force, capital G is gravitational constant, m 1 m 2 are the masses, r is the distance. So, we can write G is equal to F r square upon m 1 m 2 that can be written m l t raised to power minus 2 into l square that is radius r, r is the length only the square of l. Here we can write m into m. So, here 2 m r here m square here m that will be going up. So, you will be getting m raised to power minus 1 l cube and t raised to power minus 2. So, this is the dimensional formula of capital G that is gravitational constant and there is also acceleration due to gravity that is a small g you must be knowing this is an acceleration. So, it has got the same dimensional formula as acceleration. So, now dimensional formula of torque, torque is equal to is force into perpendicular distance between the two forces. So, we can write here m l t raised to power minus 2 into l. So, that will become m l square t raised to power minus 2. So, see here the torque and work has the same dimensional formula, but two are different physical quantities. It means dimensional analysis cannot explain about the physical quantities. So, after this torque you can also take like f is equal to 6 pi eta r v this is called eta. This force f is a viscous force dimensional formula is same as that of force eta is a coefficient of viscosity r is the radius of the ball and v is the velocity. We have to calculate dimensional formula of eta that is f upon 6 pi r v f has dimensional formula m l t raised to power minus 2 divided by 6 pi has no dimension, r has dimensional form l and v has l t raised to power minus 1. So, eta can be written m l raised to power minus 1 t raised to power minus 1. So, dimensional formula of this is called coefficient of viscosity. So, this eta is known as coefficient of viscosity. So, coefficient of viscosity has dimensional formula m l raised to power minus 1 and t raised to power minus 1. Then there is another one surface tension. Surface tension is force upon length. So, dimensional formula is m l t raised to power minus 2 divided by l can be written m l raised to power 0 t raised to power minus 1. This is the dimensional formula of surface tension. If you take angle that is a plane angle I am talking about that is theta is it is here m 0 l 0 t 0 because theta is equal to length of arc divided by radius length and of arc is has dimension of l and radius also has dimension of l. So, that has no dimension, but see here angle is the only quantity which has no dimension, but its unit is radian. So, it has unit that is called radian, but it has no dimension. Now, there is a you can take the right dimensional formula of frequency that is frequency is equal to 1 upon t. So, it is dimensional formula is m 0 l 0 t raised to power minus 1. You can also write dimensional formula of Planck's constant E is equal to h nu, E is energy, nu is frequency, h is Planck's constant. So, h is equal to E upon nu, E is work, energy is work and work energy all have the same dimensional formula. 
the dimensional formula of energy was it is m l square t raised to power minus 2 divided by t raised to power minus 1 this will go up. So, it is here m l square and t raised to power minus 1. So, this is the dimensional formula of Planck's constant.